This is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts, back for more education on QuickBooks Online. We're here to help you either if you're a bookkeeper, an accountant, or a business owner, we're going to help you navigate through QuickBooks Online and understand the ins and outs and all kinds of problems that could happen and how to fix it. Today we're going to talk about a very popular subject, which is integration, particularly with Square. A lot of you are having issues with the Square integration, especially when trying to add products and it's not accepting those products and it says that, you know, the products don't match. So this is what you're going to do to avoid that kind of problem. And it has to be done before you actually integrate with Square. So without much further ado, we're going to go straight into not QuickBooks into our slideshow and teach you exactly what to do. We're going to show you both sides of the story. A lot of you come to me and say, you know, I contact QuickBooks and they're not sure what to do. I contact Square, they're not sure what to do. So we're going to show you both sides of the story, both things that you need to do before you integrate, both in QuickBooks Online and Square. All right, here we go. Okay, here we have our slideshow. So let's get started here. All right, so QuickBooks integration with Square products and service. So like I said, before you integrate QuickBooks with Square, it is very important that your products and service match exactly what it is in Square. So QuickBooks and Square needs to be the same. So the best thing to do is to import those products and service from Square before you integrate. And when I say exactly the same, I mean exactly the same. It means that if there is any dash, any number or anything, or even space between Square and QuickBooks, that can prevent those products to integrate smoothly. And then when you try to add the transaction after you integrate, it's going to give you an error and not allow you to do that. So this is why this is so important. All right, so QuickBooks integration with Square, Square products and service. So first we're going to go into Square. Okay, so prior to integrating your Square, this is what you need to do. So make sure your products and service are the same in QuickBooks as in Square, just like I was saying. Sales tax are the same in Square and QuickBooks. That's a big one. I actually had a client in Canada that was having problems with that. And the thing is that in QuickBooks, the sales tax was not the same as it was in Square and it was causing problems there. The product type is the same in Square, inventory versus non-inventory. So this has to be the same. So if you have the product as non-inventory or service in Square has to be the same in QuickBooks. If it is inventory in Square has to be inventory in QuickBooks. And the spelling, like I said before, has to be the exact same thing. And that includes space, commas, hyphens, whatever it is, has to be the same. All right, so first thing we want to do is log into Square, okay? And on the left hand side, you want to click on items in order, left hand side menu. So this is what you're going to see when you log into Square, you go to home on the left hand side, items in order. Actually, when you click on the three lines on the top left hand side, this is what you're going to see. So items in order is where you're going to click and next you're going to select items. Okay. Items is where your products and service are in Square. This is Square guys. Okay, now the next thing you know, you want to click on action and export library in Square. So under actions on the right hand side menu. See that? All right. Okay, so now you're going to select the format that you want this to be exported in. For QuickBooks, the format is the CSV file. So make sure you select that. It's going to be automatically selected as Excel and I recommend it to change it to CSV file because that's what QuickBooks takes. All right, so once you're done with exporting, you want to save that into your computer in an easy way for you to find whatever folder you want to save this into, okay? So now you're going to log into QuickBooks, okay? So that we can import those after you export that file save it to your computer, you're going to import into QuickBooks Online. So 
You're logged into QuickBooks now. This is QuickBooks. We're out of square. QuickBooks, very important to know. <laughs> so on the left-hand side menu, you want to click on Sales and then click on Products and Service. Under Products and Service, there is Next to New. There's a little arrow there. Click on that arrow and click on Import Products and Service. Okay, and then you're gonna click on that browse and select wherever you save it on your computer and put that CSV file over there. If you have it in Excel, that works as well, but CSV file is the ideal. So you download that file in that box over there, okay? And then the next thing is very important. So make sure that each map data is selected correctly. This is the key to avoid future errors. That's very important here. So your products and service, if you're not tracking, usually it's gonna be item name, or if not, you know, you gotta select the right one. If you have a inventory product that your SKU is correct and the line item on your Excel or a CSV file is locating those items. So the type of inventory is very important. Sales description, if there is one. Sales price, if there is one. I don't have the sales price. You can leave it without sales price or you can bring. Now make sure, once again, if there is a sales price, it is the same in QuickBooks versus Square as well and whatever kind of income account it is. So the next one is also a mapping. Another mapping important step is to choose the right type of product and service, like I said. So under type, you're gonna select if it is service or non-inventory, or for some of you, it will show as inventory. Just a side note, I prefer not to use inventory. The integration sometimes has some bumps on the road, but if you're using inventory, you know it has to be correctly chosen. But if you have the option just to manage your inventory elsewhere, I would. Okay, if there is a variable price, you're gonna select whatever variable price is zero, and then when the transaction come, it's gonna come for whatever amount you selected in square. But if there is a specific amount, you wanna make sure that it's there. Okay, so next is just showing after I selected my sales price. Like I said, I don't have one, so goes at zero, but if you do have one, and then the name is exactly the same, and the service, so I select the service on everything. If it is not inventory for you, you wanna make sure it is not inventory. If it is inventory for you in Square, you wanna make sure you choose as inventory, okay? All right, so now it is time for you to integrate with whatever app you're going to integrate. In this case, ours is Connect with Square. Now, is it important for you to take the same steps if you're going to integrate with other apps? The answer is yes. <laughs> Your products and service and whatever app you are going to integrate has to be the same in QuickBooks as it is on the app because if not, that's when you're having what they call mapping problem. It means that your products and services are not matching with whatever it is with QuickBooks Online. All right, thanks for watching. Let's go back here. I'm back, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was useful to you. I have a lot of clients that have issues with that. And like I said, it can be very frustrating. Now, the integration with QuickBooks and Square is done by Intuit QuickBooks. <laughs> but the person or the software engineers that created that integration, they don't answer the phone. So they don't know whoever is answering the phone, which is customer service, don't know the details of those integrations. And that's what we're trying to bring it to you so you can understand the whole process and how important it is to make sure that that mapping, those products and services are matching exactly because that is one of the biggest problem when you integrate with either Square or any other kind of app. So making sure the products and service are right and then the mapping to the bank and we have the other video on integration with Square. We also have integration with PayPal, integration with other apps. Some of them work a little differently, but with Square, this is exactly what you gotta do before you integrate. So I'm gonna leave a link to my other video on how to integrate with Square. There's different ways to do it. So you wanna make sure 
that you choose the way that works best for you. If you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. This is how you support us so that we can come back week after week. You're going to be up to date with whatever is going on with QuickBooks Online. We want to bring solutions to you and the kind of solution you don't find any place else. You're not going to find that in a college class. You're not going to find that <laughs> in any kind of training out there. This is hands-on how to solve your problems with QuickBooks Online and integration and so on and so forth. So share with your friends as well. Share this video with the world. We want to reach as many people as possible. We want to help you. And if you get to a point where you can't go anyplace else, you need some live help, we do offer one-on-one -on -one tutorials. So feel free to contact. Our contact is down below. If you need help with your QuickBooks Online, just have us do your books for you so you can focus on what you do best. And if you're an accountant, or bookkeeper and you're training other people and you want us to help you train your staff also contact us we provide those training to help your staff work best for you that's our goal to help you progress help you fine tuning so you can take your business to the next level we are so grateful for you and for your support and watching our channel we each week and we want to come back each week continue helping you with your challenges with either quickbooks online or any kind of quickbooks online integration thanks for watching i'll see you next time and until next time keep on smiling <laughs>